Hey guys, it's early morning. I'm at Ocean View, the OV, Ocean View, Norfolk, Virginia, the beach here. Um, the sun's coming up and you can see the clouds are going away. We've had a kind of a week of a really strange weather and a storm just blew across the East Coast yesterday, you know, the East Coast of the United States. And um, hey, it's good. The, the, today's going to be a beautiful day and I'm up early to get out here and build an antenna. The antenna I want to build is uh, something that's a little unconventional. It's been done before, but I want to do it um, and, and see how it works. It's a long wire multiband dipole or a random wire multiband dipole. And I'm going to be using, um, you know, I got the idea from this because I've built a lot of uh, random wire verticals using a nine to one unun. Well, my friend John N0VTY sent me a really cool uh, ballon. This is a nine to one ballon. It's the BH4 DDF nine to one ballon. So I was like, you know, what can I do with that? I'm going to build a dipole with it, being that it's a ballon and a, di a balanced antenna, a dipole, what have you. I tried to do some research on this and uh, figure out, um, you know, had it been done before. And I've got a lot of books, but the one I really found some on, this sun is crazy, but um, Portable Wire Antennas by John Hill, uh, KF7SQQ. Um, he's got some parts in here where he talks about a, a random wire dipole using a a, 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 a a line, a balanced line to feed it. But he also has a, he ta has a section in there about random wires using nine to one. So close as I can find as far as written text to what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to use that, you know, you, with random wire antennas, the, your lengths are, uh, for the best lengths, I should say, uh, 29 feet, uh, 35 and a half feet, 41 feet, 58 feet. I was like, you know what? 29 feet twice is 58. So two random lengths of 29 and 29 would also be the 58 foot length. So that's the, the lengths I'm going to use to build this thing. Now, all the parts and everything I have to build this antenna are thanks to you. Um, this is uh, the first antenna that I built where it's completely um, from uh, channel membership and, uh, and super thanks and stuff like that for my viewers. So I really thank you a lot. This was the whole idea when I put down the little, uh, what I'll call the tip jar there for channel membership. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, if you're watching this, don't feel obligated. Uh, and uh, if you are a channel member, a member of what I call Salty Waltz, Coast Guard, uh, thank you. This antenna is uh, because of you. I'm starting to sound like a, here in the States, we have a public broadcasting. Uh, this is brought to you by members like you. But anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm going to get this thing up and then we're going to see um, what we can do here. I'm here at the beach at Ocean View. So um, uh, right by salt water. I know usually verticals and salt water, but uh, we're going to do a dipole today. And this one will be a little bit of an inverted V. I'm going to try to make it as, as the least amount of inversion as I can and get it uh, as flat as I can. It'll be impossible. It'll be a little bit of an inverted V. So it may have some invis uh, qualities to it. I don't know, but let's get this antenna up. I'll show it to you and let's see if we can make some contacts. Stick around. Okay, here you go. Here's the antenna. As you can see, I tied it off to uh, I tied it off to the fences here on top of a dune. There's an insulator. It's paracord to an insulator to 16 gauge speaker wire up to the top of my uh, DX Commander pole. I have the ballon and the choke end of a 50 foot chameleon antenna's coax with the choke on the end. I got it taped up to the top. But there it is taped to the top of my DX Commander 10 meter expedition pole. Uh, I have a piece of PVC pipe that is driven in the ground. Um, that's one end, the other side down, 29 feet to an insulator, and then the paracord there as well, tied off to this fence on the dune. So this is it, kind of up on a dune. The antenna is a little bit more inverted than I wanted, but uh, as you can see, I'm still up kind of high. I'm up, probably up uh, four or five meters above sea level at the bottom of the dune itself. Uh, the coax comes down and goes into my Jeep, and that's where we will uh, be firing up the radio to see how this thing works. So let's uh, let's go give it a shot. Like I said, it's a little bit more inverted than I kind of wanted. I thought I could flatten it out a little more than that, but uh, let's try this, the random wire or long wire multi-band Dipole. Let's give it a shot. 
And here inside the uh, Jeep, I'm using my Zygu G90 uh, with uh, powered by my six, uh, six amp hour, 12 volt uh, LiPo 4 battery there. Uh, one thing I did do is I checked SWR across uh, from 20 to 10. I may go up to 40 and check it as well, but pretty decent. It was hovering around two on all the bands, uh, just around two to one. Uh, 10 meters did look really good though. I could probably get by without using the uh, internal tuner of the radio, the ATU to work 10, but um, that is another thing about this antenna and I knew it coming in. I was gonna rely heavily on the antenna tuner uh, inside of the radio itself, but um, there you go. Let's get on the bands here and uh, and see what kind of uh, uh, what kind of contacts we can make. QSL, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Hey, thank you so much for the three by three in Japan. You're five by six, five by six. I'm 20 watts in Virginia, USA. Okay, thank you for the flight. Thank you for your patience. 73, old man. Thank you, 73. Italy Kilo 5 Yankee Zulu Zulu QSZTDX Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Kilo 4 Oscar uh, Repeat again Yes Kilo 4 Oscar Germany Oscar I'm 20 watts portable on the beach in Virginia You're 5'9 Congratulations on uh, your power the, the, the Low power, low power. 73, my friend. Ciao, arrivederci. Peace to you. Ciao. Roger, 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 Roger. You're 5'7", 5'7", to Virginia. I'm portable, 20 watts on the beach. QSL, thank you for the 5 and 4, and thank you for the contact. 73, my friend. Hey, go, you're uh, QSL, you're 5555 in Virginia on the beach. I'm portable, 20 watts. Thank you, 73, bye-bye. All right, you are then from 236 Tango. Kilo 4 Oscar, Gold QSL, QSL, I'm 20 watts portable on the beach in Virginia. QSL, QSL, you're five seven here. Great signal. Okay, thank you. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, seven to three. Bye bye. All right, thanks, uh, Wolf. Uh, K four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. This is Y and two November. Good morning. You're fifty nine, five nine. Uh, very good signal in uh, Central America today. Over. Roger, Roger. Thank you so much for the five. The five. Thanks for making the contact. All the best in 73. Thank you so much and happy Eastern 73. The name is Ralph. 73. Thank you, sir. Very cool. Very cool. I tell you what, I'm back up in a holler here in West Virginia. No cell service here. I called CQ for 20 minutes and uh, uh, Tony got me spotted over. QSL, yeah, I've been working DX from 20 to 10 meters, and I wanted to see if this uh, antenna would work on 40. So I saw you on the spot there and came up, and it's so good to make contact with you. Very good, buddy. Very good. Well, yeah, I think somebody's got a net starting here at 10 o'clock Eastern. Somebody jumped in there a minute ago. So I'll uh, I'll be finishing up here in a little bit, move it to the next park. It's a state park. Pretty sure I'll have a service there. Hey, well, have a great day in Virginia, 73. Hey, thanks, Reed. All the best, my friend, 73. Hey, what a great day. A fun day of DX. I'm having a blast out here. This antenna is a good antenna. It really is. And uh, I like I liked it. I like it a lot. I will probably uh, expand upon it and build it in a different lengths to make it a little longer maybe or, or whatever. But uh, hey, it, it performed well everywhere from 40 uh, to 10 meters. Uh, decent SWR, at least good enough to tune. And um, man, just some great DX. I tell you what, I was uh, when I first got started on 20 meters, uh, I could hear some VK. I heard a couple guys uh, down uh, on uh, in uh, one was Sydney, I believe, um, 
I just couldn't get through the pile up and I didn't want to sit there all morning trying to do that. Uh, on 17, I heard Indonesia couldn't get through the pile up there as well. So, um, the antenna was hearing well and obviously getting me out well is, is hey, I got to Japan. That's pretty, it's like, I think that's only the second time I have a uh, contact to Japan while out portable like this. So, uh, 20, 20 watts to Japan. I'll take it all day long. John, N0 VTY, man, thank you so much for sending me the uh, 9 to 1 Ballon. Um, to all you guys that support the channel, thank you so much for, uh, hey, the wire, uh, everything that, that, that came along with it, the, uh, the paracord, everything, um, the, the, little, um, the, little, the little tip and a little bit of uh, support. I'm just going to start using that when I get it to, uh, to buy stuff like this and, uh, and get out and make more antennas. And that's kind of what I want to encourage is build your own antenna. Get out and have fun with it. Doesn't, it doesn't take a lot. Doesn't cost a lot. And, uh, and you can get some amazing results as you can see here. Really, really enjoyed building this antenna. It is a great multiband antenna. If you have a tuner and, uh, and you want to, uh, you know, get out. Yes, I'm next to salt water. Yes, that helped me greatly. Yes, conditions are really good right now. But all in all, it was uh, when it comes together, it comes together, and it came together today for me as well. Hey, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can support me if you like. I don't. You don't need to. I'm just. I'm not sitting here begging for it. I just like to keep this going, build a community, and 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 show how. Uh, how you can get out and, and ham radio is fun. It's a blast and it's not that hard. It's just a, a good time and a great hobby. If you do, uh, like I said, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. See you guys soon.